Greetings and salutations, people of Earth. Ah, it is Red Wild Rider coming at you from the card vault somewhere very deep in the bowels of the Earth. And I am here tonight during this festive holiday season with a box of, look at that, it's Modern Friggin' Horizons, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. I've opened two boxes on this channel before, and uh, for those who saw that video, you will recall that I actually did at the time what I thought was fairly good. I opened uh, the same Mythics in both boxes. I opened, uh, whoa, hello. Uh, I opened two Urzes, two First Slivers, <coughs> excuse me, uh, two Undown Flourishings, which were kind of bad, uh, two Tesses, which were awful. Uh, Tess, unfortunately, uh, right now is worth about a buck, and um, uh, one Mox Tantalite, which is uh, also not worth very much, Unbound Flourishing, also not worth a lot, and uh, the Foil Renin 6, which was really amazing, like I really, really enjoyed opening that, if you recall, uh, but uh, I didn't open any of the other Mythics in two boxes. Uh, so I opened like the two best mythics and the two two of the best mythics and two of the worst mythics and a foil of the absolute best. Now, uh, those of you who watched my channel before will notice that uh, I have changed my setup uh, somewhat. I have actually, uh, believe it or not, um, the setup that you guys were seeing before was like this like narrow little tiny cave that was carved out in my desk that was uh, designed to do this. I've actually uh, cleared off my desk uh, to some degree. Uh, there's uh, lots of stuff uh, boxed up over that way, <laughs> okay, as well as some notes I have on the pad and stuff. <laughs> and uh, the uh, mat, you, you all remember uh, Ken Meyer Jr.'s brainstorm mat, uh, I now have back here. Uh, oh, that's right, I can't move this too far. You see the angel down there, that's uh, Greg Staples uh, doing a variation on Sarah Angel. I uh, picked up that mat a few years back and uh, decided to uh, add it, uh, <coughs> excuse me, just to give myself a little more room over here to actually do stuff. I've also improved the lighting a little bit. I, so I have, I've been doing a little work. I've been uh, trying to improve the uh, quality of the videos on this channel because uh, I would like to get uh, more subscribers and more people watching. So, uh, yes, remember to uh, please subscribe uh, to my channel. Uh, I do box videos. Uh, every so often, whenever I get boxes, I can much open them. So we're going to just you know, start here because I can do this while I'm talking. Uh, I'm just going to you know, throw things somewhere. Uh, so we're just going to go through the cards, the uh, the foils in the front, then the rarer mythic. So there's not going to be much surprise. We're going to fly through these packs pretty quickly. And, uh, yeah, so uh, here we go. So we have the zombie token, that there's snow-covered forest, and our first rare is a Plague Engineer. Plague Engineer is actually one of the Better rares in the set, it's not really worth a pack, but it's okay. Uh, there's only one common that's really worth anything, and that's Arkham's Astrolabe still, um, which is kind of surprising, I guess, so considering that uh, it was banned in the format that it was kind of designed for, but yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, so we're just going to do that. And our second rare is Kaya's Guile. Not a bad one. I believe I opened one in the last two boxes, which is fine, uh, but not really money. Uh, scale up's actually a little bit. The only uncommons here that are good are um, Generous Gift and Soul Herder. Uh, Soul Herder is a dollar, I think. Generous Gift's a little more. Um, as far as the rares are concerned, like the rares I really want to open, are going to be obviously Force Negation, Prismatic Vista, and the uh, Lance. So the Foil Illusion token. And art and Superb Swamp and on thin ice. Uh, Channing Snowland, you control. The, yeah, this is the uh, uh, Chain to the Rocks uh, variation. Uh, yeah, so really, this box opening is not about making money. If I wanted to make money, I would not, I would be opening a box like I would have spent money and bought two or three boxes of Throne for the amount of money that I spent on this. I really overspent, but I bought for my LGS. Ah, Ranger Captain of Eos is our first mythic, and uh, while it's not one of the better money mythics, uh, it is a mythic I didn't open, and therefore I do not own any of, and uh, I'm all right with this. So uh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay, so that's mythic number one. Um, 
Oh, that's right. I, I keep forgetting that there's that these are like regular packs and not like those. Uh, whatever. I'm tired. It's been a long year. <laughs> but there's a foil bird token, which is nice. Uh, looks like uh, one of the ninja cards. And behind the snow covered plains, we have a foil alpine guide for our first foil. It's uh, uncommon and it's uh, probably worth nothing. And uh, our first land. Yes, silent clearing. Okay, all all of the lands in this cycle are worth uh, more than what I paid for an individual pack. So right here, that's fine. I'm glad I got more of those because I didn't open very many. Uh, all things considered, in the um, in the previous opening, uh, if you recall, I think I opened maybe you know, like five or six, like total between the boxes, and I feel like I. You know, I've watched a lot of Modern uh, Horizons box opening videos. I feel like I should have opened more. We do have a foil in here. It's a foil Crozen Tusker. Oh, boy. I used to love playing this card in Commander. I've kind of gotten off of it a little bit, but there's some, like, kind of funny tricks you could do with it because of the way the abilities stack and what the abilities do. Uh, so Crozen Tusker is pretty fun. Uh, I, I enjoy playing with the card, uh, and I, but I already have a few foils. I have another one now. Seems good. What's behind the Tusker, though? Ah, womp, womp. Pashlik Mons. Yeah, okay. Pretty sure I opened one in my last opening, so that's uh, pretty fine, but whatever. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm good. Going to the next pack. This is going to be a pretty short opening. I do have a little surprise thing at the end. Uh, if you are an astute magic collector and you uh, have been paying attention, you know what that box was. Oh, we have a... Uh, our foil rare is a scrapyard recombiner. Yay. And Aria Flame is our rare. Yay. Oh boy, this is gonna be a fun opening. I have I have a very good feeling about this in terms of how much how much salt I'm gonna be uh, throwing at this box a little later on. So uh, let's see what we got here. We got snow-covered swamp and uh, the scowl. We got the damn scowl, skelemental. Womp, 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 womp. Uh, I mean, it's okay, but I'm pretty sure I already have a couple of those from the last opening. I think I opened one in each pack. And to tell you the truth, I haven't really looked much through my um, my Modern Horizons cards. On the snow-covered forest, we have Hogak. He used to be worth a lot until they had to ban him in the format he was created for. Uh, we'll just let the silence let you all know how I feel about that. It's like, okay, Wizards, you made a set called Modern Horizons. And the cards went straight to modern. Skip standard, go straight into modern. No problem, right? And then you make a card that completely broke modern. Really? Like, I thought you guys had playtesters now. The hell? What's going on? But Hogak, okay, no problem. Moving on. I had to complain about Hogak. I'm glad I opened one so I can complain about it. I mean, I'm a magic player. I like complaining. <laughs> Soldier token, not a foil one. Who cares? Time to smoke over planes is a bizarre trade mage. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there's one of our dollar uncommons. Uh, and there's a, I think I think the uncommon and this, I think Soul Herder and this is probably worth more than Bizarre Trade Mage. <laughs> Excuse me. Woo. Oh boy. Okay, next pack opening. Still no foil token. Uh that guy um behind the silk swamp is a cloud shredder sliver. And I don't think I, I'm not sure if I opened one of these uh, in the last box opening, so if I didn't, that's pretty good. Uh, other than that, eh. moving on, rip more packs. Eh. Like manhandling these things. Uh, Shapeshifter, la la, Fist of Flame uh, for our foil. And Force of Rage, our first Force card. It's not the one we want. Uh, Force Negation and Prismatic Fista are both worth a lot of money, and I'd like to open one of them, please. 
Like, I'm not asking for both. Like, like I said, I'm not like looking to make money on this video. I'm just opening packs for fun because it's the holidays and why the hell not? But, uh, you know, just hoping to open something spicy here and there. Oh, uh, foil zombie token, by the way. I, I like the foil tokens. I think they should do more foil tokens. I, foil tokens are fun. And, oh, come on. Ah, oh, Jesus H. Oh, Ah, literally the worst rare you could open in a pack of, of this, like, future site. Like, like, all right, understand something. I've been playing since Onslaught, okay? Like, if you don't know, I've been playing since Onslaught. Hey, well, what's up? Uh, so I, I'm, like, sort of looking at the chat over here. This new setup. I'm getting used to it. Uh, but, yeah, future site. Ah, oh, man, this came out in, like, I think Scourge. And uh, so it came out, like, right around when I started playing. And Jesus Christ, I don't have enough copies of this damn card. Uh, I really like Wall of Blossoms. It's a great card. Uh, just saying. Uh, anyway. Rippity, rippity. Time to open more packs. I am really disappointed about that future site. Uh, I am spazzing out with pack opening as well. That's an issue. Foil Soldier Token. Again, please, more foil. Uh, what's behind the Snowcar Forest? Is Hall of Helia's Generosity not a bad rare to open? I am pretty cool with that. Uh, I have one of it already. I would like a second one. I have a second one. So we are good. We are fine. Open more packs. We're in the left pile right now and just pile right through. Now it's funny, my uh, this, the LGS owner was joking around. Goblin Engineer, uh, eh. uh, I think it's one of the better rares. Uh, did I have no, 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 Plague Engineer? Sorry, not that one. Eh, eh. Um, and he's like, Oh, there should be a run in six in that box, I think. Yeah, should I think? Yeah, okay, we'll see about that. Uh, so go over, please. And it's the Queen of the Bears. Uh, I guess we're going to do Bear Tribal, but I'm not going to do Bear Tribal. So, nope. Okay. And I don't care. And we're on to the next pack. I mean, Bear Tribal must be pretty cool. Like, came by once and I uh, more than happy to trade one. Shapeshifter. Oh, nice. 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 These are supposed to be pretty hard to get, and I just opened the foil snow-covered mountain. That is pretty sweet. What's up, Rav? How's it going? Good to see you here. Good, good to see you stop binging for a little while. See, I told you, it's time to take a break, right? Time to take a break. But nice, shiny foil snow-covered mountain. Now, I know the value on these things went down. I opened a, a snow-covered island in the previous video, and uh, I was pretty happy about that. And I spent Coadle was behind there, which is not a bad rare um, in terms of money and in terms of what it does. I mean, it's pretty damn cool. I'm sure it's seeing some play in uh, in Modern. I haven't really been following Modern very much lately. Uh, I haven't really been following any formats lately, to be honest with you. I haven't had much time to play Magic, but uh, I'm still, you know, getting cards. I'm still collecting. I'm still having fun talking about magic and uh, doing all sorts of stuff. So I'm here. You're there. We're watching. And give her runes. Give her runes. Another one of our better rares in the set. Uh, still, I mean, not like totally money, but there's like a bunch of rares in like the 4 to $5 range. Uh, Plague Engineer, Give her runes, Ice Fang Coatle, uh, Force of Vigor, Fluster Storm, and Collector Roof are all in like the 4 to $5 uh, money range. And Holy Hell, he has generosity are like three. So uh, that's kind of what we're looking at. And talismans are actually uh, pretty good in the uncommon slot, too. They're not quite the dollar, but most of the talismans are good money. I think three out of five of them are about 50 cents. And I could use more talismans. So anytime I open a talisman, I'll probably be happy about it. I'm also trying to get a complete set of these art cards. Uh, so if anybody, uh, after this video, I'm going to see which art cards I need. And, I'll let people know, and hopefully uh, maybe we can do something about that. I'm just, oh, just trying to tidy up this pile over here. Uh, I'm just, like, flinging cards around, and I just try to be a little bit neater about it. I'm still getting used to the new setup. At least I can't tip my camera over. I did a couple of things over here to make sure that, like, that can happen. 
And we have a first sphere gargantua foil. And what's that covering? Uh, our plane bound accomplice. And uh, yeah, no. Uh, okay. Um, I have only opened one land and one uh, mythic. Uh, this is really disappointing right now. What's up, uh, what's up, Lassenheiser? How's it going, brother? Good to see you here, uh, soldier. What an ah. Snow covered mountain and a deep forest hermit. Oh boy, I was really hoping to get a couple more mythics and lands, but <laughs> one mythic, <laughs> one land. Woof, woof. All right. What is the island covering up? Let's uh, move some of that snow away. Another land. See, I complain. It shows up in the pack. And because I, I'm not sure if I have this one or not. Uh, so if I didn't, no, I do. Seems all right. All right. We got some more packs. I'm a little over halfway through the box now, obviously. I'm not sure. You could barely see the second pile. I got the commons pile in front of it. Might have to change that shortly. Uh, Fallen Shinobi uh, for our rare. Eh, okay. Uh, eh. And uh, just keep ripping past. It's going to be a quick video. But I, like I said, you have something after the box opening. Uh, it's going to be small. Some of you may have probably already seen it. But I'm just going to do it anyway because there is something uh, secret and surprise in there uh, that I don't even know about. So uh, behind the mountain is a full of the Spandling Blow. Shiny, shiny, and behind the fall of the smantling blow. Oh, that was disappointing. <laughs> Crashing footfalls. Oh, there's our generous gift. Very nice. I'd like to open a couple more of those. Uh, they're about like a dollar forty, I think. I forget. I was I was looking up prices before. Still only one mythic. Unless somehow I missed a mythic because I mean. I love that art for ephemerate. That's very nice. Very nice. What's buried below the swamp? It's a sword. I think it's the better of the two swords, if I recall. Sword of Truth and Justice. It's our second mythic. And all right, it's another one I didn't have. I didn't have either of the swords. So I now have a sword of truth and justice. Uh, no truth, no truth. No, 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 no. That song lyrics don't do that. <laughs> Sorry, I was about to go into a song. Um, I actually started the video a couple of seconds later than I was planning because I went to sit down and I almost pressed go live and I noticed that my uh, computer was blasting music from a room away and had to go shut that off. Snow-covered island behind the snow covered is an Archmage's Charm. Oh, I saw the blue and I was like, please be a force of negation. Please, please be one of those two big money rares that's not a land. I'm really hoping I'm really hoping I open one more land. I'm really hoping I pull a force negation and like one or two more good mythics. Hey Sasha, how you doing? I'm not sure what you yate about, but uh because I'm just catching up on the chat now, but okay. Uh snow cover planes. Uh, veg oh, there we go. Woo! 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 Whoop! There's our force of negation. That's what we were hoping for. Right on, right on. Ah. Oh. All right, that's good. That's good. I feel a lot better about this box. I have a talisman. Wait, was there a natural wave in here too? Uh, no. Okay. Just thought. Rolling right along. Bada bing. Foil elephant token. Again, let's have more foil tokens, not less. Behind the mountain, it is Yogmoth. It is our third mythic, and uh, I really did need a Yogmoth, and uh, he's actually in the uh, in the ones that are. I had a bunch of mythics listed that were about in the eight to ten dollar range. Both swords, uh, Yogmoth, first liver, um, season pyromancer, and hex drinker. And uh, hey, I got a Yogmoth. All right. I hate that card in EDH, by the way. Uh, mm. uh, I did manage to mess with the camera. Look at that. Look at that. But that was a totally freak accident. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Screw you, <Agla. laughs> Stupid broken. 
Uh, no, not a foil, Young Wap, unfortunately. I wish it was foil. All right. Uh, what's behind the snow covered island? It is another land. It's a fiery island. Nice. I got three lands. All right. Seems good. All right. I'm, I'm pleased. This, this box is working out as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I'm putting the lands up there. Uh, no, I hate both the lightning for different reasons. And it's lightning bolt, not bolt of lightning. Foil Elemental. I like the Foil Elemental card. Pretty nice. All right. Uh, let's see. We got Snow Covered Plains. And behind the plains, very underneath, is a Foil Winding Way. And behind the Winding Way, that takes us to another Mythic. And it's Morophon. And that's great because I really wanted to get a Morophon out of all this, too. So I, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy. <coughs> Even though no run in six, but that's fine. Um, uh, Land of our tribes actually uh, not I, not bad money. I think it's like fifty cents. Um, but uh, it's lightning bolt. We're arguing about a card from the Transformers game. It's uh, called Bolt of Lightning in the Transformers game. It does three damage to things, and I always complain that it's lightning bolt. You'll see it if you watch my Transformers videos. I think from Wave 2 that uh, the um, – I forget the name of the set now. But uh, it, it's funny because it's made, by, it's made by Wizards. So it's like, why can't you just call it Lightning Bolt? And it's not like they don't use other magic card names. Oh, now we're not focusing all of a sudden? Or or my eyes just go, nope, 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 behind the mountain. Oh. Yeah, baby, it's the other money rare. Ah, uh, yeah, it's Prismatic Vista. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, very nice, very nice. I like, I like Prismatic Vista. Woo, oh, almost put it in the wrong pile. <laughs> That's a little crazy. But I managed to get both, both of the big money rares in this box. And I still have one, two, three, four, five, six, six packs left. So I'm going to put those packs in there. Uh, we're just going to bust the rest of them. And, uh, then like, oh, yeah, wait through his Rise of the Combiners. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so, yeah, Rise of the Combiners. Uh, if you watch my Rise of the Combiners videos, you'll see I complain about Lightning Bolt. And, in fact, uh, Latsenheiser is in one of those videos because uh, we did it at uh, his joint. Uh, so Soldier's Token and Art Card. And buried under is Tectonic Reformation. Not quite the most exciting card, but uh, I mean, I guess it's okay. Pillage. Oh, yeah. All right. So, so far, I, I feel like I did all right, really. Like, I'm, uh, I'm not really having a problem. Uh, with uh, what I've opened here. Oh, there's our fifth mythic, and it's not running six, but this season Pyromancer, which again was on that money list. Uh, so uh, I'm I'm pretty happy. I'm uh, I'm good. This this was this was a pretty good box, like all things considered. Like it wasn't perfect. Uh, this is a pretty good card. Like I totally be happy playing it. Uh, it's it's hilarious. It's probably fun in some uh, token decks in, in Commander. Uh, not that I have ever played a token deck in Commander, but uh, hey, maybe I will. Uh, four more packs left. So the chances of opening a six mythic are really friggin' low. I'm not counting on it at this point, unless I happen to open a four. If I open a four, run in six. I'm just going to go absolutely bonkers because the, the odds of that happening are so friggin' low. But uh, Snow Covered Forest, and it's hiding an Iceman Coatl, which is a duplicate for this box, I believe, but not bad. Okay. Fine. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Three more packs and then we'll get to our little surprise. All right. So, losing token. And let's dive under. Freak Cordial Vampire. He's so cordial. He's so cordial. All right. Uh, two more packs. We're almost at it. We're almost at the surprise. All right. Zombie. 
Mox Tantalite Art. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just made my money on this box. I just made my money back on this box. With everything else that I opened here and this, I just made my money back on the box. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is like a hundred and like fifty dollars. Oh my god. I, I think it's like 150. I, I, I looked at the prices before. I know the Ren and Six was like 250. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Oh my god. I, yeah, Rav. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that. I'm 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 kind of in shock right now. I'm sorry. Whoa. Oh my god. I I, I like it doesn't even matter what's behind this. Oh my god, I can't believe that's open to foil Urza. Holy crap, thank you, Sasha. 140. Yeah, I, I, I thought I was a little bit off. I was trying to remember. I, I knew it wasn't like 250, 150, I knew it was something else. I just couldn't remember what. Woo! Woo! Behind is an astral drift, which is pretty cool because I don't I think I did not open one of these in my two boxes. Astral drift. Foilers are, oh my god, what the hell? The second to last pack. Oh my god. I this, this is why we open packs of magic cards. This is why I do this on video. Because when crazy things like this happen, like I like I, I feel guilty just enjoying it by myself. Like um, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'll get to the seeker in a minute. Uh, Genesis. It's Genesis. It's a reprint. It's okay. I like Genesis. It's fine. Completely gamble the gathering. Uh, Rav, where's the sleeve? Um, actually don't have any sleeves handy right now, and I don't want to turn around and go get one. Uh, so we're okay. Believe me, it's going in the sleeve in, in as soon as this video is over. Okay, if, if I didn't have only one thing left to open, I'd be going and getting it and getting that sleeve. So the secret, like I said, the Super Magic viewers uh, may have noticed from the thumbprint, uh, from the thumbnail, uh, that, uh, yeah, that box on top is indeed a secret lair, and it is the uh, secret lair of Bitter Blossom Dreams. Okay, uh, because I am always a spike at heart, and I love Bitter Blossom, so I had to buy this. So the real secret in here is which Planeswalker did I get in this box? Because I'm not sure how many of the Planeswalkers were actually even available in this print run. It doesn't look like there were a lot. I saw a lot of the videos I've seen of people opening their secret lairs. Uh, the secret lairs have only had uh, a limited number uh, of actual planeswalkers in the box. So I'm not sure how many this is. Uh, so I'm not sure how many there are. But uh, yeah, secret lair. I like these boxes. They're kind of neat. Oh, yeah, I was going to get the Kaleidoscope one, too. Actually, there were two that I was thinking of getting as well as this one. I, I said, you know, I, I may or may not have the money to do it, so let me not take the chance. Uh, but I want to get the Kaleidoscope, and I wanted to get the um, the Serum Visions one. But my goal with the Serum Visions one was to try to trade three of the four of them away to get the co four copies of the one that I really liked, which was the girl with the third eye, uh, who was kind of, like, looking forward. I, yeah, I love the packaging. This is really nice. So we have our Bitter Blossom inside, which everybody knew was there. Okay, and somewhere in here is going to be our, our secret card. And, yes, it's uh, taped to the bottom of the box. Uh, so I think uh, – see, I just nudged the camera again. There we go. Uh, let's see. Let's just do that. That's easier. Because uh, – oh, okay. Wasn't that stuck. So this is the final surprise, ladies and gentlemen. So remember, please subscribe to my channel. I, I do unboxing videos probably about like once a month or so. Uh, you know, uh, more when more products come out. I'll definitely be doing some for um, for Theros Beyond Death. I'm getting two pre-release boxes, so I'll definitely I'll probably do two different videos. Yeah, barbarian, but that, that this is not this is not connected in any way to the box. Like there's like literally nothing I'm breaking by doing that. I just, that just slides right back into the oh, uh, unless I do it wrong because I'm not paying attention. I'm a genius. Good going, red. Uh, let's uh, put it in the box properly, and uh, there you go. You see, uh, barbarian. 
Barbarism undone. Barbarism undone, even though I'm a clumsy fool. So anyway, let's finally get to it. What card is this? Which magical planeswalker did I get? Please let it be somebody awesome. It is Soren, Vengeful Bloodlord. Yes, it was something awesome. I am pleased with with this acquirement. That little bubble you see, by the way, is the is the glue that was holding it there, uh, very loosely. But yeah, Soren. All right, so this has been a good video, guys. Thank you for all for watching. Uh, like I said. Uh, just keep watching my channel, enjoy the videos, and uh, I'll see you when the next set comes out. Uh, I'll probably do some uh, set review videos uh, when more of Theros is spoiled. Uh, so see you all in the future. Have a good night.